That's Why do you think facing do. that? That's what you told me that to That looks do. like good lighting yeah. to you? Well, no! You what? No! <laughs> we had the worst luck in this place. Yeah. Man, we get canceled for the second time in a row. Wow. We are going shopping. All right, that's what my lady wants. That's what my lady gets. You know what I'm saying? My lady wants to go shopping. We go shopping. Good morning, everybody. It's bright and early. We have a flight in 45 minutes. We didn't get a lot of sleep, so we're trying to get there as soon as possible. By the way, we're going to San Antonio. So, neat place for me. Tim's been there. We're, we're going to the Alamo. We have a late over in Atlanta, then we're getting to San Antonio, so hopefully it's nicer weather there. I don't really know exactly what we're going to do tonight. But yeah, we'll check back in once we get there. Bye, guys. Dave and Buster's tonight. Actually, that's a good idea. I know, half price games. Probably. Okay, so we made it to the hotel. It's honestly, is like pretty dreary out. It's not sunny and bright Texas, but it's chilly. We thought it was gonna be quite a bit warmer. It's a bit chilly. We're gonna order some DoorDash and then take a nap. Not really sure in what we're gonna do tonight. Dave and Busters! Have press games on Wednesday. We tear that up. We tear that up. We make that our ish. We make that our ish. We're gonna tear it up at Dave and Busters. We're gonna play some games and win some tokens. Okay, yeah, we definitely need a nap. But we are staying at the Omni, so we did save a little bit on this hotel. We didn't go crazy just because we wanted to get away. Didn't need anything too fancy. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, wait for a DoorDash, take a little bath, and then we're gonna nap because we like to nap on vacation. Get up very, very early. So we'll tune in after we nap because we really need to rest up. Thank you for being here today. Well, they're not going anywhere. No. Bye-bye. Good night for, well, good nap, good night. Good day. Good day, see you guys soon. Good day. <laughs> All right, so Tim just got up from a nap. Well, I mean, I did too. We're gonna get dinner, but honestly, we are still really full from lunch. Very full. So we're gonna head to Dave and Buster's, or we're gonna hop in our rental car that we got earlier. I guess we didn't mention that earlier, but we got a rental we're car earlier. Some game. We're gonna go play some games. So we're gonna go play some games. You know, we always try to hit up a Dave and Buster's when we're out of town since we don't have one, unfortunately. But yeah, we're gonna go play some games and then obviously we're gonna have like a really late dinner. Hopefully we can get to bed at night because we did sleep for a while. I think we'll be fine. I think we will be fine. We'll see. So, Billy and I just got done game night game, uh, Dave and Buster's. Billy slayed it. There's like this game where you drop the ball into a target for tickets. Bonus, two times in a row. So now we are at Whataburger. Billy's never been to Whataburger. I think I've been to it once, but I don't remember my visit, if you know what I mean. This is my first true visit to Whataburger. I got just the regular Whataburger sandwich with a shake and some fries. Oh my gosh, solid. So far, I would give the salad like a three because they didn't have any dressings. To be fair, like most salads at fast food places are not that great, but they did have light lemonade, which is a huge perk. Tim said the fries are compared Comparable to, McDonald's. to McDonald's. I told Billy she can't really judge a salad too hard. So like at 10.30 at night, by any restaurant, their salads have been sitting like all day. Yeah, so he's yet to try the actual burger. So we'll have to see Tim's opinion there. First bite. It's kind of 
bigger than I thought. It's kind of skimpy though. Yeah. Peel back the bun. I'd say a five to six average. What's it comparable to? McDonald's? Or? Oh no. McDonald's Big Mac. Way better. I would say a knockoff of Bebop. Bebop's probably a little bit better though. Probably the difference is like with fast food, and this is like where I'm different than most people, is I kind of like just the cheap burger patties, but like these ones are actually grilled. It's like, it's probably a higher quality burger, but like I just like the cheap crap from fast food. So would you come back here? Probably, I mean, I'd still come back. You just wouldn't favor it? No, if it's like something where I needed to quick get something and it was like on the way, I'd get it. But I wouldn't like go out of my way for it. We're gonna wrap it up. I think we need to stop by the gas station and get drinks. Yeah. And then hit the hay. Tomorrow's gonna rain, so we'll have to figure out what we're doing tomorrow. But yeah, good night, everybody. All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is now our first full day here in San Antonio, Texas. It is very crappy. So I don't know if you can see like behind me, it is like foggy, rainy, and cold. I haven't looked at what the actual temperature is, but I think it's like 40. This is not what we had in mind when we came to Texas. So last two trips, we've had flight issues. Now we got it, we're dealing with Antarctica and Texas. Weather is not looking good. So Billy wants to go shopping. All right, that's what my lady wants. That's what my lady gets. You know what I'm saying? My lady wants to go shopping, we go shopping. I don't even know what Billy really realizes. I love sea life. Like, I don't know why, but like aquariums and stuff, that stuff just fascinates me. I love it. Little fishies and stuff like, yes, please give me some more of those cuties. Billy, hopefully she'll find Zara uh, very attractive today. Very good sales. Well, I don't know how to flip the camera, so you just come here. Babe, okay. this is so dark. Face the light. That's why do you think face? Do. That, that, That's what you told me to that do. That looks like good lighting yeah. to you. Well, no. That's what you told me to do. No, that face it. Well, I thought you meant face the camera towards the you light. You think after how many years you know like what good lighting well, is? I'm sorry. I'm trying to provide a living for you, and I have to do that in a different way. It makes no sense. By working hard in other areas. So we are going to shop at Zara and Billy is very excited because we don't have a Zara in Des Moines. So every time we travel and they have a Zara, Billy literally goes Well, because then I have to like return everything. Yeah. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to head to the mall. We'll check in when we get there. They do have a crepe race. So we're going to maybe get a crepe. I don't know. I'm really hungry. We haven't eaten. We just did it. Stop grabbing my butt. I'm we were doing an Instagram it. live. Um, but yeah, it's rainy. So like we're kind of not... I don't know, we just don't have a lot of options. So we're gonna go shopping and we'll check in when we get to the mall. And then maybe the Sea Life Museum. Maybe. Yes. Bye guys. Hi guys. We just wrapped up lunch at a Brazilian steakhouse. I felt really bad because I looked online and it said it was $15 per lunch. Yeah, Billy can't read. <laughs> it was Billy $40, so we have like a hundred hour bill. Yeah, that's- Which I felt really bad about. Because someone don't have a wallet. Yeah, since it got stolen, lost, whatever. Oh, okay. So we headed back into the mall. Both of my credit card limits are not for you. So now we're walking around. I told Tim we could go to the sea aquarium, but yes, aquarium. we're gonna do some shopping beforehand. Whoa. Yeah, those. I like those. They kind of look like the ones you have now. Yeah. I uh, just browsing. Canceled for the second time in a row. Wow. Oh no, I'm a giant. Oh, you look tiny. Oh. You literally go to like my ways, babe. You already messed up. See, you got me. You know, it made the noise. I heard it. Yeah. It's never gonna work for you. are at dinner at, uh, what's this place called? Gordos? Gordos? Gordos that Tim made uh, reservations. I'm not very good at Spanish. I think it's it was really hard to find reservations down here for anywhere. So I give Tim credit for finding a place. It's like modern Mexican food. Well, there's like nothing describe... Mexican on the menu. Right? Well, has, like, babe, steak. I ordered chicken and it was pronounced pollos. So that's Mexican. I know, but it had like steak, fish, and like... But modern means like more Americanized. Like, 
westernized. But it's a really nice restaurant. They've got these fancy mirrors down here. Unfortunately, it's way too cold to sit outside. Um, it's like, I don't even know, 30, 40 degrees out, which is not like typical Texas weather. But it's a date night, so we're gonna enjoy some pop. Pepsi. Some soda. Some soda pop. Um, yeah, we're going to enjoy this. Then we need to head up Target because Tim needs deodorant. And we need a couple things for a video. But Tim is looking sharp. We've got velvet blazer. That's right. Billy's one looking good. Yeah, Tim looks good. I had a mess trying to get this dress put together with all these little eyelet things. But yeah, we're going to dive into some modern Mexican food. I don't even know what it says. It says. It's not Lebanese, Texas Bistro. Okay, it's a Texas Bistro. Yeah. Most things in Texas are Mexican. Yeah. A lot of meat in Texas. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna dive in. We'll let you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. So, after I ended up getting the chicken with the black bean and pepper, Tim got some type of fish. Grilled. Know. Grilled fish. I don't know what kind of fish, but it's grilled fish. With veggies and potatoes. Yeah. Eat up, babe. Today is Friday. I'm we into, are uh, I'm into waking more up. clothes than makeup. I'm not really into makeup. I'm definitely And we're into doing clothes. TikTok Live. Hi, guys. Say hi to YouTube. What up? Vlogging. This is YouTube World. YouTube. I don't know if this is focused or not. But yeah, we're gonna finish up like TikTok too, Live, honey. get going for a day. Um, need to Happy film a couple TikToks. To your May she and have then her figure out what we're doing for today because it's really cold outside. Hi, 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 and hi, hi, uh, hi, luckily hi, it's hi. not raining, but we'll see what hi, happens hi, hi. in the next hour or two after oh, we get YouTube. ready. Yes, say hello. Tim and I decided because it is so cold out today, we are gonna go to this place called the Wildlife Ranch. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so we were gonna do this before we looked into it before actually coming down here, but we decided to pass on it because you can't get out of your car. But given that it's again 30 degrees, we decided this would be a great option for the day, at least like given the time now, it's almost noon. So we're making our way down the country road. Tim's driving, obviously. Yeah. Um he's complaining about the heat, which it's really not that bad, but yeah. whatever. She has it at over 85 degrees for over 30 I minutes. turned the heat off, babe. And I was drinking a Slurpee, so, so obviously I got a little cold. If you, someone that's cold goes and gets a Slurpee, does that really make a lot of sense? We don't have them back home. Okay. Why do you eat ice cream in the winter? Because I don't complain about being cold. Because you never are cold. I'm cold, I'm not gonna go eat ice cream. But you do. Not if I'm already cold. Yes, you do. No. So. We're making our way through these, I don't even know if this is technically the country, it definitely looks like the country, to this wildlife ranch, and we're gonna stay in our car the whole time, but I think there's supposed to be zebras, and I really don't know what else. Zebras. Elk, maybe, I don't know, we'll show you guys what we find, and if we think it's worthwhile for you guys to go to. Heck yeah. Although it's in a place called Garden Ridge, Texas. Yeah. Population 3200. We'll see how it goes. No! Wow. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> Everything is freaking closed. <laughs> no! Are the trunks? Do you want to see if the caves are open? What are we going to do at the caves? I don't know. It says Natural Bridge Cavern. A national natural landmark. And you don't think those are going to be closed too? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess. I don't want to do that, but we can see. Oh, I really don't want to just drive 30 minutes for Well, we can go check out these caverns, but I wanted to see zebras. Oh, I did too. I drove over 30 minutes to do it. <laughs> we had the worst of luck in this place. Yeah, that's a bad luck. It's pretty dark. Oh, there's a lot of them. What? Obviously, we decided to do the cabin because the fire lane was closed. Yeah, I mean, and we weren't going to drive 30 plus minutes to not do anything. You can't see this in Iowa. We have caverns in Iowa. Not like this. Uh huh, I've been to one. No. I'll show you later. Then it was not man it was not natural. It was a man made one, maybe in Iowa.
touch federal crime. We made it through the caves, thankfully. Um, I don't know, we wouldn't rate it too high of an experience, but given that there's nothing I'll else like to a, do. I'll give it a six, like slightly above average. If you like natural type stuff, then I would say definitely go do it. But like Billy and I really aren't like nature people. Oh. Yeah. But thankfully, like Tim just said, it was something that was like not super cold because it was basically inside. Once you're in the cave, it was pretty humid. Yeah. Uh, but now that we're with that, we're gonna go get some lunch and then head to this mall because again, there's we're kind of living out of things to do with it being so cold. And I don't know, we might go to the river walk later depending on how cold it gets. But we'll just see. We're just honestly really, I'm really hungry now. Yeah, and I think. Uh, I'll probably have to bring Billy back to San Antonio another time when like the temperature is a lot better. Because it is not fun. It's like if you were gonna go to Florida and like you want to go to the beach but you can't go to the beach because it's too cold. But Basically. I don't know. Eyes on the prize right now for getting food. Yes. And Tim and I were just talking about because we're on this way to a North Star, Star Mall. And uh, I owed him a watch because that's what I was going to get him for Christmas, but he hasn't picked out what watch he wants. So I was like, hey, Tim, I'll buy you a watch. And then he reminded me I don't actually have a wallet. So technically, he would have to buy it and then I would have to Venmo him. So while my app is re-downloading to see if I can even use Venmo, we're literally going through about how many things have gone wrong this trip. And we collectively decided that the first thing to go wrong was the taxi cab. And it was basically forty dollars from the airport for like an eight dollar yeah, eight lift, minute ride would have been like fourteen dollars was like oh screw it like i don't really want to wait or yeah. try to find a pickup spot for so he lift totally gypped us that's why like the uber and lyft are taking out taxes you know your fare right away these they don't just pull it out yeah the so that was 40 minutes for like an eight nine minute yeah, $40 ride dollars for like an eight minute ride. yeah like he totally pulled the <clears> amount and then the i lost my wallet which he is now enjoying now <laughs> so have fun with my louis vuitton wristlet and my insurance card which i no longer have oh there's a texas roadhouse um the next thing that went wrong what was it i mean yes. Bor boris has been the only good thing that's happened to this trip you said that the hot water is doesn't work for good yeah so now. there's like the hot water has a limit and it's not very high and then we just found out that we we're supposed to do six vlogs tomorrow that got canceled because of weather advisory conditions and we assume that sea world is going to get canceled too and then Tim took me in this haunted house thing that was not good. The Alamo was a disappointment. Not to mention, before we got here, well, I would say like two weeks when we planned this, it was supposed to be like 60s. Yeah. Then right before we left, it was supposed to be 50s. And now it's in the 30s. Um, and then I thought we had something else go wrong. Oh, and we just went <laughs> to go to the animal safari and that was closed. So oh, yeah. um, we don't really know what's gonna go right for us other than Boris, if we could see Boris again, cause he's adorable. Um, and Dave and Buster's is kind of the other thing right now that's going okay. Yeah, I, I beat the lock game last night. Oh yeah, he did beat the lock yeah. game. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna head to the mall, maybe shop some feelings out, even though I don't actually have money. And hopefully time find him a watch that I will have to pay him back for. <laughs> obviously fine um and after like half an hour of deciding to go to restaurants we decided to go to this mexican place because tim said it looked like a castle so we'll see how much of a castle it actually looks it like. Look like a castle from but the we figured we're in san antonio we need to get mexican food so that's where we're headed once the elevator maybe boris will be down here i wish boris boris is this adorable dog we keep seeing well, I saw him this morning, so I didn't get to see him, but... Yeah, you know, Billy didn't call me to tell me that. No, because you were asleep, and you would have been a cranky madman if I had woken you up. So, anyway, we'll see how good this Mexican place is. Tim wants to go to Mark. Yeah, I do. Okay, 
So Tim and I tried the Mexican castle, it didn't work out. It was a 40 minute wait. And then we went to this like American steakhouse. That didn't work out either, that was a 45 minute wait. So now we're at Laughing Crab, which kind of sounds silly, but honestly we Surfing got Surfing Crab. Yeah, but honestly- You said Laughing Crab. We got these crab. huge things of Super pop. Super cheap for like, the, like what you ordered. These are massive and free refills, so that's a plus. And then we got Ed Amove. Thank you. Which is like kind of a bizarre thing. Um, and then I ordered shrimp and soup, which is also weird to have a seafood place. And Tim, what do you think? Uh, I got flounder, shrimp, chicken strip, and uh, calamari. So yeah, we're gonna dive in because there is no wait. And honestly, I think this ended up being kind of a blessing. Now we're gonna try some seafood in Texas. It's not Mexican, but it is seafood, so. Alright, thank you. So we officially have way too much food here. <laughs> Tim just ordered some more stuff for our shrimp. So I must say, this must be flounder. And Take a okay. bite and let me know how it is. Uh, I don't know what to try first. I'll do the calamari. We're good stuff. No. Boris! <laughs> Finished another TikTok this morning. It's really, really cold. It's now like 11.45. There's some kind of dance competition going on downstairs, so I'm kind of trying to avoid that. Tim is also contacting Six Flags. He actually went on the website. Turns out they're kind of like, hey, if the park's closed, that's your fault. And that's not really cool when you pay for tickets. So Tim is doing what he does best, which I don't necessarily agree with, but he's taking it to Twitter to see if he can get in contact with them to get a refund because obviously it's not our fault the park's closed. We would have gone and like froze our boats off anyway. Do we know about SeaWorld yet? So we don't know if SeaWorld's a hit or miss probably gonna be a miss because of how cold it is again so while he works on that we're gonna go finish getting ready and then go to lunch at golden corral everybody gives us so much crap about loving golden corral but hey for like the price and the amount of food you get i don't really know why it's an issue i think their food's actually pretty good annoying thing is though when you go through the buffet you have to have them like pick out the food for you so that's a little annoying also our window is leaking so we can add that to the list of things that are like going wrong this trip so there's a really cold drift coming through even though the room temperature is saying 72 it's like 100 not 72 but we got some other clips to film for a valentine's day tiktok so yeah we'll see what it does the rest of the day i think we're gonna try to go to the mall we're gonna try a pair of jordans on that tim and i saw see how they look and feel hopefully get some instagram photos i'm not even gonna bother with my makeup today because every time i put on makeup my mask just like rips it off and it makes my skin super dry so it's just gonna be a black photo I must have brought like really bad skincare products with me because my skin is like having a horrible reaction anyway try to get some Instagram photos we tried yesterday it didn't really work um and then probably go down to the river walk I don't really know what that leads us for tonight but we'll have to figure it out I feel like this whole trip has just been like us improvising but yeah Tim's going to Twitter right now he's sending them a message to see if we can get a refund because what the tickets were like 70 bucks a piece well no like they were total because since we had a day ticket they were like way discounted but 60 40 50 like 35 a piece okay so not that bad but like it's not our fault the park closed so he's gonna wrap that up and then we're gonna be headed to Golden Corral here is what I order at Golden Corral and this is what Tim gets on his diet He's a bad boy. This was better than the other one. The other one, we had to like wait for them to serve us. Self serve. Here we gotta serve our soups. What? 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 We made it to the wax museum and Tim's dancing like Michael Jackson. <laughs>
up at the Ripley's Museum, Wax museum. Wax museum and stuff. And 4D Theater. Which we had some snow in it. So now we're going to show you guys the Alamo. The Alamo! David Crocky! Which it's still really, really cold out. So Remember the Alamo! I'm trying to hold myself together because we did not pack warm enough clothes. Oh, there's someone getting married over there. Really? Yeah. That this would be an option. I would be freezing my butt off. I would reschedule. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the Alamo. This is it. I mean, it looks cool, but it's literally if you guys come to San Antonio, it's just off the street. So it's pretty easy to find. It's free admission. And yeah, it's just the wall. Pretty cool, though. Texas won their freedom from Mexico right here back when Texas was their own state. They won their freedom right here with Mexico. The Battle of the Alamo, right here, Davy Crockett, he fought for the life, and then General Houston got the Mexican president to surrender, and Texas now became its own country before becoming a union state in the United States of America. So I'm kind of a big Crockett fan lately, but yeah, kind of pretty. Remember the Alamo! We have made it to the Mexican restaurant, um, Mamacitas, Mamacitas, let's get it. I got myself a nice little mark on the rocks. Ooh, so delish. Um, this is actually supposed to be a 30 some minute wait. Got in in 10 minutes. We actually tried this place last night. It was like a 45 minute wait. Now granted, there is some like freezing rain here in Texas. So we do think that probably scared away some of the Saturday night crowd tonight. Billy's over here just chowing down on a salad. She's having a Caesar salad there. All right, sorry, I'm talking. I'm wearing I, uh, I got a chimichanga. Chimichanga. Billy got. I've never had it. I've never had a chimichanga. That's correct. And then Billy has gotten fajitas. So we'll see how we like it. Then if we look, uh, I don't know if I can flip the camera or not up here. Let's look up there. We got David Crockett. David Crockett. So I talked about him at the Alamo. He is a legend here in San Antonio. So God bless David Crockett. May he rest in peace. We're going to enjoy this Mexican restaurant. The chips and salsa are pretty solid. They gave us like this green type salsa, which I have no idea what the heck it is. So I'm not going to try that because my stomach. Yeah, I don't even know. It's like a teal color. I have a very weak stomach, so I don't think that would be a good call for me. But we are going to uh, chow down here, enjoy dinner. And uh, maybe, maybe get a couple more marks. I don't know. It depends if I'm feeling like a bad boy or not later on. We are sizzling, moving, and grooving. Tim got a chimichanga. Chimichanga. Which he doesn't even know what it is, but nope. you got heaps of rice though, man. Look at all that rice. Well, I got no beans. You're gonna be stuck. Daddy's ready. All right, we have made it outside to the hot tub. Yes, outside. <laughs> Um, it is freezing out here. It's like actual outside got, temperature. It's I like 30 degrees. I swear I got frostbite on my feet uh, out here. My head looks huge when I'm like in the bra. Uh, <laughs> it's like um, they had like a dance competition or something going on. So like there's like a ton of kids right now in the actual indoor pool. So we, we stood out there. We saw Boris. Yeah, we did see Boris and again. the Husky. Um, but, but there's no room in there. So, so we found, found this, this outside hot tub. 
no one's here it's definitely cold like i said i think it's like 30 degrees i don't think anyone knew it was out you there. can see the actual steam it's actually a nice pool area at this hotel nice so i don't know if you can really like see it but it's got like a nice pool and like a bar over there with like a movie screen so we are going to enjoy some hot tub time and we got it to ourselves so like inside yeah. it was really loud honestly so yeah so we're just out here in the hot tub and we'll uh nice coffee I got my coffee and we're just going to try to stay warm and I want to keep my head just bobbing out. So keep on looking like I got a big head, but uh, keeping warm. You guys have a blessed night.